Hey guys, welcome back to Salem Cellar and happy Friday. Today we're going to be doing another episode of Salem Cellar's movie recommendation. Today's movie is going to be the horror drama mystery, The Invisible Man. I'll be right back. The Invisible Man was released February 24th, 2020 in the U.S. It's starring Elizabeth Moss. She's such a great actress and she really shines in this film. It was directed by Lee Wynell. I love him. I love his work. He's been a part of so many great films. A lot of my favorites, Saw, Insidious. Um, this film is about after staging his own suicide, a crazed scientist uses his power to become invisible to stalk and terrorize his ex-girlfriend. When the police refuse to believe her story, she decides to take matters into her own hands and fight back. This movie is rated R. It is bloody. There's a lot of violence, but it is great. It is a great movie. And it's actually streaming for free on Freebie. If you see my video earlier in the week, that is a great streaming service and it's on there. You can watch it today. How exciting. Now, I recently rewatched this movie, but I watched it a bunch of times. I just love it. It's really gets right into it. It doesn't, there's no need to like develop anything. Like, you know, just from Elizabeth's acting skills, you know what she's feeling when she's feeling it. Like you can tell in her face. It reminded me a lot of Sleeping with the Enemy with Julia Roberts. Like right away, you could tell she's trying to get away from this man. She's trying to escape. She has this plan you know, laid out and set. She has somebody picking her up. And you could tell right away that this man is insane. He then commits suicide. But then she can tell that something is going on. She's being stalked. There's somebody there that she cannot see. And nobody believes her. You know, imagine spending so much time with this one man and knowing that he's insane. You know, he's a great scientist. He's wealthy and all this stuff. But he, he you can, you know, personally, he's insane. He's mentally and physically abusive. They don't show any of that. They don't show their initial relationship, but you know what's going on. You can, you, you, you know, like she does, doesn't come out and say it, but you know, the, her sister asks her like, are, was he physically abusing you? What did he do to you? And she basically says it without saying it. So this woman was being tortured by him. And just to know what she went through and what he's still putting her through, you know, everybody thinks she's crazy. You could just tell like, okay, yes, I'm sure your dead husband's coming back and haunting you or terrorizing you, right? He's destroying her life even when she's not in his life anymore. When making this movie, Lee Wynell actually did that on purpose. Like he didn't show anything with their relationship prior to her fleeing the situation. He wanted us to feel it all through her instead of actually seeing it happen. And I think that was really smart because, you know, you put yourself in her shoes. You just look in her eyes. You look at the fear. You look at the, the how stressed out she is and how much she went through in this relationship. And you get that right away. So, yeah, good play on Lee's part. Like, he did a great, great job in this movie. It's exciting. It's fun. There's a good ending that leads up to possibly other invisible movies, invisible woman movies. It's just, there's something so great and fun about this film. Rating it, I would definitely give it an eight. It's a great movie. I can watch it over and over again. It's an easy watch. There's some shocking scenes in it, but it's a good time. This movie is also starring Aldous Hodge as James and Storm Reed as Sydney, his daughter. I love Aldous. I loved him in Supernatural. It was kind of like a love-hate relationship, you know, who's kind of like an asshole, but he's just such a great character, such a great actor, I should say. I really loved him in this. I love Storm in this. They are a great pair. Um, them with Elizabeth was just, it's just a great cast. The acting was good. The effects were good. I just, the story, the plot, everything great. Check this movie out this weekend. I think you'll love it just as much as I did. It really was a great adaptation for The Visible Man. I have no complaints. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you do enjoy this film. Remember, it's streaming on Freebie. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll be right back.